You know, one thing that I try to focus on in these tutorials is taking like, you know, simple concepts and taking them one step further. However, in this After Effects video, we're going out of the box and actually creating box motion graphics with crazy typography. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel, Sunduck Film. Please be sure to drop a like on this video if you like crazy ideas within a tutorial. So if you're ready to create this really cool typography sequence, let's jump in and let's get started. And as always, you can download project files if you wish to use this as a template or just follow along. So the first thing we need to do in our tutorial composition, which is 1920 by 1080, feel free to copy my exact settings for this. Uh, we need to type out our title and make sure it's across a composition like this. So once your title's typed out, you go to layer, pre-compose. We'll call it title placeholder one and click okay. We'll go back into that composition and we'll go to layer, new, solid. We'll make sure the solid is black and click okay. Make sure it's underneath the title and then go to composition, composition settings. We'll change the height to 190 and click okay. So now your composition should be crunched around your title like so. So now we're gonna take our title and turn it into a tube. To do this, we'll select our title placeholder. We'll make sure it's a 3D layer. Then let's go to layer, new, null object. We'll parent our title layer to the null object or rename it to control. Then we'll create three duplicates of our title placeholder. So we'll have a total of four in here. Then we'll select all four of our placeholders, hit P and shift R to bring up the position and rotation values. So please feel free to copy my settings because it's very easy to do this. For the first placeholder, let's come to the Z position, set this to negative 95. For the second placeholder, set the Y position to negative 95 as well, and go to the X rotation and set it to negative 90 degrees. And now we're layering this out in 3D space. Go to the third title placeholder, set the Z position to 95 and the X rotation to negative 180 degrees. Set the Y position on the last one to 95 and the X rotation to 90 degrees. So if I come here to my null control layer and make it a 3D layer and I hit R on my keyboard and I come into X rotation, we now have a 3D tube that looks great. So to animate this, we'll just alt click the stopwatch for X rotation and we're gonna type in time asterisk 50. And now we'll have this continuous animation of our tube, but now I wanna variate this a little bit so it's not just the same thing, 360 degrees. All right, so the first thing we can do to add some variation to this is we can grab the second and fourth title layers, go to effect uh, channel and grab a invert. This will automatically just shift the colors completely. And that's cool. But what if we wanna add like another title in here? Well, all we need to do is go to our project panel, locate title placeholder one, duplicate it, go to edit, duplicates, and double click on it. Feel free to grab your textile tool and change out your title. And ideally the title should stretch for the entire width of the composition. Then we'll go back to our main comp. We'll select the second and fourth title placeholders. Go to our project panel, click, hold down alt on your keyboard and just drag in here. And that will automatically replace what we've done uh, with the new title. So now we have a very simple tube like title. So now we're gonna set this up for easy duplication, but we're also gonna create a very strong style uh, with some cool effects like this. So in order to make this much longer, what we're gonna do is grab one of our title placeholders, go to effect, stylize, and grab a motion tile. And we're gonna set the output width just up to 600. And then we can copy the motion tile and just paste this effect to the other uh, three layers. And this will ensure that this will be much longer than it needs to be. All right, so now that's applied, let's go ahead and select everything, pre-compose it. We'll just call it tube typography, click okay. Before we get into duplicating, one thing we wanna consider is the depth of the motion graphics, right? We wanna make sure that there's separation uh, and things stand out from one another. So the first effect we're actually gonna apply here is go to effect, perspective, and just grab a drop shadow. You're not gonna see anything right now. Uh, but we don't want to have to duplicate this later. So then we'll set the opacity down to say 40%. We'll set the direction to 200 degrees, the distance to say 35, and the softness to say 450. You won't be able to see much right now, but you know, there's a little bit of drop shadow there. It's gonna look great when we're all done. So now the next real effect we want to apply is go to distort and grab a warp effect. We'll change the warp style to a wave and we'll adjust the bend by a little bit. We'll set the horizontal distortion to 25 and then the vertical to maybe eight. So now we just gotta position this correctly and duplicating this will be so easy. So let's go over to layer, new camera, click okay. Change your tube typography to a 3D layer and make sure it continuously rasterizes enabled. This icon right here, make sure that's on the layer. Then there's many ways that we can rotate the scene. For example, we come here to the top and grab the orbit around cursor tool. We can like rotate our title if we wish to do that. So that, you know, looks pretty cool. You can play around with that, but I'm gonna type in some very specific settings so you can easily follow along with my uh, style that I'm gonna go for. So I'm gonna open the camera options. I'm gonna come here to zoom and set this to uh, 1510 and also the focus distance to 1510 as well. We'll come here to aperture and I'll set that to 15 pixels and that'll also help us create some depth. 
So then I can come here and grab the uh, dolly towards cursor tool and then I can zoom into our tube. So feel free to pause the video right here and copy my settings if you wish to have the exact same thing that I have. And of course, before we move further into our video, if you like saving time while producing awesome work, we have over 18,000 templates for you to use here in After Effects and Premiere Pro. With the Motion Duck extension, you can preview, apply, and modify any templates within a few clicks. Be sure to check out our links in the description below to see all the template packs we have, and don't forget to download your free packs here for Premiere Pro and After Effects. All right, so one thing you're gonna notice, no matter what you do, there's probably gonna be some sort of cut right here, and it's not seamless, it doesn't look good. Don't worry about it, we're gonna fix it. What we're gonna do is go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. You go to Effect, Distort, and you grab the uh, Transform Effect. And you set the scale up to say 103, maybe 105, and maybe a little bit more than that, maybe we'll do like 107, and that will get rid of the cut perfectly. Now it looks seamless all over again. All right, so now we just gotta duplicate this and create some unique variations and this will be done. So let's take our tube typography, let's duplicate it and we'll grab the bottom layer. We'll hit PR and keyboard for position. We can just bring this back in Z space by dragging down the Z value. Uh, and then you can adjust the X and Y values, uh, just kind of offset it in time. But one thing that we're gonna have to do to create some unique variations is update the warp effect. So we can come here like say warp style, we can set it to bulge and we can just quickly update some of these settings just to kind of variate it. And then after you adjust your settings a little bit, you can kind of just reposition this exactly where it needs to be. And feel free to pause the video again, and just copy my position settings uh, and the warp settings. And we'll do a couple more duplicates. Maybe for this third duplicate, we'll come here, set it to uh, wave. We'll change the bend to 40, uh, the horizontal to 88, and maybe like the vertical to eight as well. And you're just gonna get another unique uh, variation and come here, adjust the X and Y, Z values uh, to fit exactly where you want it to go. And there's the next set of position value if you wish to copy it. And we'll do one more duplicate. We'll change the warp style maybe to arc, set it to maybe nine, eight, negative 22. I don't know, I'm just kind of variating this. And then obviously reposition it as you see fit. One thing we should probably do is just offset your layers in time so they're not in all at the same exact moments. All right, so now we have our crazy typography done. You can copy the position settings, just hit pause, copy that and get the same exact thing as I have, or you can just variate it in your own style. So just a couple of things, you can always download our free After Effects and Premiere Pro template packs. Those links are below. If you're new to our YouTube channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We post several tutorials every single week and always be creative.